Let's learn about SSS rule of congruency. If three sides, if three sides of one triangle are equal to the corresponding three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. This is SSS rule of congruency. Here is our problem. In the figure given below, AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF and AC is equal to DF. We have to prove that angle BAC is equal to angle EDF without using SSS congruence rule. So it is given in the question that AB is equal to DE, BC is equal to EF, AC is equal to DF and without using SSS congruence rule we have to prove that angle BAC is equal to angle EDF. Using SSS congruency rule proof of this is very simple. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SSS rule and by CPCT we can have angle BAC is equal to angle EDF. But here we have to prove this without using SSS congruence rule. For doing this, we will have to perform a construction. We will draw EG and FG in such a way So this is our EG and this is our FG. These are drawn in such a way that angle FEG, that means this angle, is equal to angle CBA, that means this angle, and angle EFG, that means this angle, is equal to angle BCA, that means this angle. And then we join DG. In triangles ABC and GEF we have BC is equal to EF so BC equal to EF is given and angle BCA is equal to EFG and angle CBA is equal to angle FEG by construction as already discussed. Therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle GEF by ASA rule of congruency. This implies by CPCT we have angle A equal to angle EGF so these two angles marked in green are equal AB is equal to GE so this is AB and this is equal to GE so we can mark it here also AC is equal to GF that means AC here is equal to GF here so we can mark here this implies here we can write angle A equal to angle EGF and we are given that AB is equal to DE so here we can write DE is equal to GE and we are also given that AC that means AC here is equal to DF so here we can write in place of AC we can write DF is equal to GF now in triangle EGD that means in this triangle DE is equal to GE so this side is equal to this side and we know that angles opposite equal sides are equal 
So that means angle EGD, that means this angle will be equal to angle EDG, that means this angle. Also in triangle FGD, that means in this triangle, DF is equal to GF, so DF is equal to GF here. Once again due to the same reason, angles opposite equal sides are equal. Angle FGD, that means this angle, will be equal to angle FDG, that means this angle. If we call this as 1 and this as 2 and we add 1 and 2, so this will imply angle EGD plus angle FGD is equal to angle EDG plus angle FDG. This implies angle EGD plus angle FGD that means this angle plus this angle will be equal to angle EGF is equal to an angle EDG plus angle FDG that means this angle plus this angle will be angle D. But we already have that angle A is equal to angle EGF and angle EGF is equal to angle D. This implies that angle A is equal to angle D. So this is what we had to prove in the question. We had to prove that angle A which can also be written as angle BAC so this is angle BAC is equal to angle D which can also be written as angle EDF we have to prove that these two angles are equal and after proving these angles as equal very easily, we can prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS. As BA is equal to ED given, AC is equal to DF given, and angle A we have proved equal to angle D. So these two triangles are congruent by SAS. So triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by SAS. In other words, we can say if in two triangles, all three corresponding pairs of sides are equal, then also they are congruent. So in a way, we have proved here SSS congruency rule. Let's summarize what we have learned here. We have learned the SSS congruence rule. That means if in two triangles three corresponding sides are equal, then the two triangles are congruent.